Hey guys! Welcome to another Warhead Getting Started tutorial. We've already shown you how to add content to your website using the Dashboard CMS. Today, we'll be showing you how to create a new theme, configure your layout, and add base styles prior to building your first layout. Let's get started. From the Dashboard, click on Themes. This takes us to our Themes table, where you can see we already have two themes added. To create a new theme, simply click the Create button and name your theme. Once your theme is named, click Save and your new theme appears. Today we're going to be building a theme we already have that we'll be using in a future tutorial to create a layout. To build the theme, hover over the theme and click Build. Now we're in the Theme Builder. As you can see, the page is selected by default. The page needs to be selected in order for us to use the page styles and page settings in this panel here. Let's get started with the page settings. Click the settings cog and as you can see there are multiple different types of settings available. Today we're going to configure the layout grid. The layout grid in this panel is what you use to control all of the layouts for each page. Currently it's a 960 pixel layout with 12 columns at 80 pixels. We're going to create a custom theme though so simply select custom and configure any theme settings. As you can see, now that I've changed my columns from 12 to 10, they instantly change. The last thing I'm going to do is change my column width. Let's move on to page style. Select the style icon, and now we're in the page style view. The page style view allows you to control all of the styles for all the elements on your page. You can even control the styles for elements globally. That means that once you add an element, the styles that you've added here are automatically applied to that element. Let me show you. Click on Blocks. You can see we've already added base styles for headings, buttons, lists, and forms. To add your own styles, here's an example. We'll start with text. Style our text. Give it a size. Change the color. It's that easy. Now anytime we add a block with text, that block will use these styles. And this works the same for all the other page styles in this section. We'll show you another example using links. Click links, change the text color, and we'll change the hover state to this teal color, just like that. Now our text and our links have both been styled. So anytime we add a block that uses text or links, these styles will automatically be applied. There you have it. You've just seen how easy it is to create a new theme, configure your layout grid, and add base styles using Warhead. Stay tuned for a future tutorial where we use this theme and the base styles we've added today to create the layout for a photography website called Jameson Photography. Once you've added the base styles you want to use, go ahead and click the Save button to save your theme. Thanks for watching.